All right, guys. We are here back with more uh, Horizon. Continuing on season past. Um, fine. <laughs> I'm at the glide. Oh, whatever. But the road to truth is never a straight line. Okay. But I knew that. This was a dead end. I just want to see if there's any good food. No? Okay. Fine. So the metal clouds, what the data referred to as adamantine wreaths, they were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the time of ashes. So I never asked. Are you from around here? No. I'm not. Most of my life for that oh, we both traveled a long way then. Did you travel that far? Yeah, like she what? Traveled from like here to there? It's like we traveled from like way over there. <laughs> Find a way to get into the proving ground. Proving ground. What is going on? That. Oh, that just looked weird. That complex should be test station ID. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we see. It's so. Yeah. Whoa! Shot the fire. It's one of those machines. Oh shit! It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. Okay, okay. fire. Yes. No, no. There we go. That was amazing. It's hearing what the metal Terrifying, talks. but is that how things are distributed? Well, you helped. We should be able to get into Test Station Ivy now. We got four at the time. Some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station, Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. Might be worth a look sometime. Hmm. I must have faith. I so I'm assuming this is going to open up some side quests then.
This console still operational. Just want to make sure there. Okay. Another log. So she and Farzina as well? So all I assume all these right are then, right? They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. So that's There's why that workbench is there. I can't leave here until the I find what I need. The map back there past the next room. Climb up. Right behind you. And this music is like giving me like Last of Us ish vibes. <laughs> Oh, is this the last one? Interesting. Um, okay. Now what? Now we get to that data core. Oh, where's that? Thank you. But we better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. So we do have. A, we're probably going to do some side content for this mission then. But. Let's hope this new module works. Um. Oh, some melee attacks. Let's see if the software works. Okay. Door's clear now. That's just kind of weird, but whatever. Well, time to bring Demeter home. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But, it kept a tight grip on the data core. 
But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... Oh, shit. That scared shit out of me. I thought I was gonna hit her too. Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her! Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An oh. ancestor reborn. So they know about Elizabeth Sobek? Diviner. We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander. Not the other way around. <laughs> sure. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. Hmm. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Interesting. Please, go. If you attempt so, to... So, we still have five more main missions after this. So I wonder, I, I do wonder what those are. Like, I know we still need to take down Regalia, or whatever her name is. And then obviously we have Silence, we have the Far Nexus, so it's like... Actually, there's still quite a bit. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. Um... Okay, um... Let's just wrap the mission up. So let's focus on this first. Last one, so I'm assuming we're gonna get some big narrative stuff now. You would assume. I assume Silence is probably gonna come back into the story. Cause he's obviously been gone for a while and he couldn't have been in there during the three thing, uh, three missions in a row because like the order uh, could be in any order. So it's like I'm assuming he's gonna reappear now. They have more talk about shit. Aloy, you've returned. Oh, is her side quest can be available? Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. Anything interesting happen while I was away? Aaron told us how you tracked down the Osaram supplying Regala with machines. Oh, proud of that. In fact, he's quite adamant about relating the tale at least twice a day. But I can tell it meant a lot that you asked for his help. I wouldn't have been able to track them down if it wasn't for him. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. 
It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. I should get going. If you need me, you know where to find me. Fuck off, are you serious? On that room. Think we can talk? Aloy, is that what I think it is? Just need to merge it with Gaia, and she'll have enough power to handle Hephaestus. Good news. So, what can I do for you? So, uh, you and Zoe got into a bit of a fight, huh? Should have known better than to suggest Hephaestus could make new land gods to replace the old ones in Plainsong. The last thing I wanted to do was dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Looks like things between you and Zoe are better now. I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Better get this to Gaia. You did it, Aloy. Let's hold off on the ale till it's over and done with. I'll let Aaron know. Okay. Looks like you got what you wanted. Yeah. It's almost time to go after Hephaestus. Finally. We get to rock and roll. Yeah, at least that's that's how the old one said it. Oh, before I forget, here, something to commemorate our mission. Oh. We did good together. Yeah, we did. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Uh, make myself useful. Just give it time. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? I should get going. I say hi to Gaia for me. Um. 
I don't need uh, the other to get one arm guy. I'm surprised we didn't get more people. Like again, it's weird that we get him for that first mission, but then like. You busy? I just realized that's why he's isolated, there isn't he? It's because, like, he's not commander. always here, technically, because, really like, he's the last one to join. It is no <sighs> what have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where is that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That could defeat the purpose of the training. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but... I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert. If you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. Oh yeah, I completely forgot my video came out. Let's check on it. That's Seven? So Six? Okay. Kind of gross. That's fine. Um doing worse might be we can't ten cast us with that. That's not great. <laughs> but whatever. I think they don't really care machines. that much anyway. He told um, me of the battle. How the slumber I suggested he etched this does. victory on his fighting arm with one of our inkers. Is he going to do it? He didn't say no. Okay. I'll let you get back to your training. And so will right, I. Let's go back to the main story. Now what? We need Hephaestus, right? With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. Hmm. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beam cast. And the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. Oh, okay. An so that, there it is. In the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. That's one that we were at earlier. Two data cores were built as a result i know that place it's near the desert clan's capital we'll have to bring you there by hand i have devised a blueprint for a suitable uh -huh. albeit unwieldy transport ring it will require two people to carry it to gemini i can help once i am installed on the first core I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? 
I suppose I could, but it, it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Huh. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher... Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The oh, so this is where we're going through his bunker? But to get it, you would have to find thieves. The private yeah, bunker being retreated to go. Ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their That's only cool. intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Oh, oof. Alva, the Quen Diviner, I'm so we going to San Francisco. set up a base at Landfall. Ooh, this is cool. I love this. Thanks again. This is what the speculation was before. I said we were going to need to go to uh, Thebes. While I'm gone, we just did uh, Ferris Bunker. Generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. But yeah, I mean, we're kind of at a spot where we're once again having to do side content, though. Uh, well, we we'll have well, to, but you gotta. I have a ferry on the coast that they used to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. The rain trance. Okay, so we can do. Aloy, I have managed oh, no, to that's unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Hi, Gaia. Oof. Hello, Aloy. We are reaching the end. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection. As it conflicts with the Oseram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you. As a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. So now that you have Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. Hey, what? 
So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Veda's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run, but I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. Uh... There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system, without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. It will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Faro Agricultural Research Facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreath before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. Um, See you I later, Gaia. I think that's it. Until next time.
I attract that? Oh, whatever. Let's just say here about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. You've been looking at any interesting data? Yeah, I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Well, no one said this was gonna be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow, how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. Well, Beta and Gaia... Oh, I really want to get one of that story really, though. Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega Clearance, and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. I guess supposedly Forspoken's getting the lead. I'll be in touch if I need Which is fine. I'm not going to sure rush for it. Everyone on the pulse generators. Good. Okay. Talk to Katolo. If he's here somewhere. Where's Katoa? I'm waiting for. I'm saving Zo for last, but it's like we know for sure there's a mission there. Where's Katoa? Or is he this? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm just a fucking idiot. Um. Got a minute? That was weird. As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaru sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. 
I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. Um. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the ten fought against machines, much as we do now. But it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. What do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend. Is yeah, it is annoying me though how much I'm oh, seeing yes, like yes, spoiler it helps uh, threads on Reddit the mind for tactics. or posts or whatever. Sounds like training. It's like I just want to be able to read them. <laughs> Fuck. I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. <laughs> All right. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. Almost lost. Okay, then we'll talk to Zell. Aloy, I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the old ones built towers there that touch the sky so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Katalo. Leave aloud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to uh, sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. Can we talk she to her? She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Uh. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. 
We have to find them? No. We know where they are. But they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Doe ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay. Tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Doe. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so... I promise. Oh, how should we going? Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Okay. Wait, so... Um, what was it? I wanted to check in on what's her face beta. Oh, I forgot. Wasn't there a new room? Oh, wait, that's just it. Beta is so frustrating. I don't get how she can be so negative all the time. Is that the same guy? We were clones of the same woman, and yet she couldn't be more different from Elizabeth. since I'm here. Right, nothing. Wait, is this the leave? I am gonna go that way then. I didn't know you could pull out your bow here. Actually, since we're here, why does it do that? How often does that restock? Fuck, wait, where? That's not it. Where's this new room? That's not it. Console. There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep oh. below the facility. I could ask Guy about them the next time I talk to her. This is our room again. So where's the new place? Whatever. Let's just see if Beta has anything to say. Oh, is it the room there? It might be the room next to it. Hey. Was there something else? So, like, these we've already done, right? So it's really nice. So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest. Without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah. I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. Mm. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? 
Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him that I was born into the tribe. I'd never been able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora, then. It's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. All right, so I think that's it then. So what do we want to do first? Right, we got a lot we can do at this point, I think. So we got the main story quest, level 26. So we're, yeah, uh, 18 levels ahead. Uh, we'll probably do that realistically. This is still on hold for a while. This one we also can't do until this, supposedly, but for some reason it says we can. Um, oh, that's actually it that we have already. It's just those two quests. Oh, no, and this, and this, and this. Um, yeah, because now we can do it. Um, wasn't there another thing that was blocked also? You know, actually, let's do this first. I'll go there and then we'll save and end. So, next episode, continue on. Aloy, it's oh. a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Okay. Um, also, actually, something I do want to see. Where is this exactly? In... Oh, it's just like on the edge. Okay. So we don't quite go in there yet. So I think we might... I think what we'll do... Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll do the two missions that we have currently tracked... Or three missions, I guess. So it's the Relic Ruin that we're about to do. Uh, and then those two missions. And then I think we'll just go and do main story. And then after that, we'll do this. Like, if it was, like, in the middle of this, then I would do it, like, this area first. Because it's, like, on the outside of it. Then I think we'll just do the mission first. Um. Oh, that's Fall's Edge. So I've been there already. Oh, whatever. Um. Oh yeah, fuck, I was gonna end. I'm an idiot. Did I save already? I think I did. I did. Okay, we're on here. Next episode, we'll continue on.